Hello, my friends. This is regular slasher. And thank you for watching my videos as usual. And in this clip, I want to show you how a banana trunk works when cut with a sword because up until now I still do not have any access to the Kami maps because in this tropical country um, the reason for the use of the Kami maps are little to none because first of all we don't really use the Kami maps here and in the case of Japan the Kami maps are often what the Kami maps are often used are the ones that are usually being discarded and are treated as garbage. So in this case, however, we do not have such a thing unless we purchase new ones and then we just use it up just to test our swords or whatnot. Um, the closest thing to the Kami maps that they have got is this banana trunk that our community decided to discard and to make room for vegetation and whatnot so luckily I had some access to it and I went to test how it behaves as far as cutting with a samurai sword is concerned all right first is that I actually tested this uh, not a long time ago and here is my impression it offers a lot more resistance than the actual tatami mats because of its fibrous nature and we don't really know how the fibers are being structured as we cut because it's from nature itself we don't really know um, I'm not a professional in analyzing trees but the way they are structured as far as fiber is concerned the tree fiber whatever is concerned um, I know it has but it offers more resistance this is why when cutting it with a Japanese sword it doesn't go straight I mean it was my first time though so give me some slack <laughs> um, it is more tough and then the tatami mats okay so this is why aside from the tatami mats we also need to explore something else so like a fruit or banana trees or any other kinds of mats that you have your hands on like pool noodles like pieces of paper and whatever okay so from this point We'll focus on the banana tree and let's see how it goes. Alright, so let's get down to business. As you can see, um, if you could, you, if you would, you could really cut your stuff to the entire banana tree trunk. So what happens is that it kind of brushed its way halfway from here to here and then it got stuck. In the middle so there are two possibilities so number one I had to brush up my technique which is obviously what we are here for and the second one is that because the nature of the tree it's quite heavy actually about um, 10 kilos and dense too because it's a plant um, the resistance that the banana tree offers is a bit more realistic than 
just the tatami mats, all right? So that's my observation right there. And, okay, let me finish the cut off. Perhaps my angle for the first cut is quite too steep. This is why we couldn't get through the banana trunk. But the second time around, we made it through. And let's see the results. So it actually has numerous layers until the core. So this is how the banana tree looks like, the core. And as you can see, it's been cut all the way through. Although my hasuji personally still needs some work. I believe this was the first one. And then this was coming from the second cut. And but it smells good too, just like a um, real banana plant, a uh, banana tree, uh, sorry, banana fruit. <laughs> so every time you cut, there's a certain beautiful smell coming out from this trunk. And then the more you cut, the more you feel good about it. Um, because the more you see how clean your cut is without really some consequences. Um, the consequences of which um, I will show you later is that the cleanup it, and the cleanup will take more patience perhaps although yeah as in cleaning any other things would require patience <laughs> so there so here's the part of the tree now so let's finish it off top of that you could also hear the swoosh sound that that comes in contact with the blade in the banana tree in the banana trunk and which sounds more realistic actually so that's how I feel about it yeah so let's try to cut small pieces whether it still works or not um, by the way, mind you, it's a freestanding object, so it's not, it doesn't have any dowel on the Tamishigiri stand. I made it that way because for me also to put some water bottles. Some other days though, just wait for the chopper to pass. So there are no problems when cutting up some thinner and smaller branches just like the usual only those parts that need really concentration and care is when the more thick the trunk is and then the more um, concentration and care should be given before and after every cut and that's about it. Uh,
so to wrap this up I'm going to have a cleanup but that is going to happen off cam and with that being said um, thank you for viewing this video and if you like what you just saw as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you click the notification bell you'll be the very first person to know that I've uploaded another content for you with information that could help you in the future yeah. this is regular slasher signing off thank you much love and domo arigatou gozaimashita yeah. Yeah.